Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new. And if you are, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. And if you are already subscribed, make sure your post notifications are turned on so you never miss a video of mine. Today we're filming a highly requested video, which is my updated makeup routine for 2022. And by the time I post this video, the Sephora sale has either already started or will be starting in the next couple of days. So I wanted to show you guys my full routine and share some of the best products to keep an eye out for during the Sephora sale. Everything that I talk about is linked down below. So it's it's easier for you to shop, add it to your cart in the Sephora app, or just keep an eye out for it when you're in store. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more makeup tips and product recommendations. Usually I add a LUT or a filter to a lot of my videos here on YouTube, but because this is a makeup video, I didn't want to do that because I want everything to be true to color. So let's get into the video. We're going to start with skincare because it's really important to have a good base for your foundation to apply smoothly. So I actually just went in and put this on. I totally forgot to film it, but this is the Glow Recipe Plump Plump Hyaluronic cream. I've tried many gel moisturizers in the past, but I feel like they just kind of like sit on your skin. They don't really like penetrate the skin and really hydrate. So this one actually does that. Like it really makes me feel super hydrated. I do have like some random dry patches. I'm going to blame it on the sun because I forgot to wear sunscreen one day when I was out in the sun for like six hours. So that wasn't fun, but I've been using this for a while now. And what's cool about this product is that it is actually refillable. So you can like pop this little pot out and just purchase the refill which is i think six dollars cheaper than getting like this whole you know bottle of cream so that's awesome speaking of sunscreen i'm really trying to remember every single day to put this on this is like one of my favorite sunscreens ever it's unseen sunscreen from Supergoop, and I highly recommend to stock up on this during the Sephora sale because summer is right around the corner and you do not want to be caught outside in this heat, especially this Texas heat, <laughs> without sunscreen on your face. So I'm just going to apply that evenly all on my face. I've recently been really liking this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I like to put it on before and after. It like really is an ultra fine mist. You can barely feel it, but it kind of just gives you a glow and just makes you feel a little bit more hydrated. So I'm gonna apply this as kind of like a primer. Sometimes I can overdo it with the sprays. The last step of the skincare routine is to moisturize the lips. I am a lip balm fanatic. I have like 100,000 in my house right now, but I've been really liking this one recently. I actually picked this up at TJ Maxx, but I'm guessing it's sold at Sephora too. It is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Intensive Lip Balm, and it is a true balm, if you can see that. So I just kind of like swirl my finger in it and apply it to my lips. And it has kind of this mintiness, which is awesome. It just like gives me a little bit of a tingle, but not anything crazy. Now it's time to get into the makeup. We're going to go straight into foundation since we already pretty much prepped and primed my face with the sunscreen and the ultra fine mist. So my foundation of choice has been and will always be this drugstore foundation. And I will link it on Amazon since you obviously cannot purchase it at Sephora. But honestly, whenever I go into a CVS or Walgreens these days, they mark up drugstore foundations and just drugstore makeup so high. So I've been starting to just get my drugstore makeup off of Amazon because it's still like the same price that it was like years ago, which is great. This foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I'm shade 210 right now because I have a little bit of a tan, not quite as much as I usually get in the summer, but it is kind of like the start of summer. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure it's the start of spring, but it's getting hot here. So I'm definitely going to need a darker shade right now. In past makeup routines and just like Sephora recommendations, I've always said that I loved the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation, I believe it's called, and I still do. It's just that that foundation shade is my true summer color, like my max tan color so i'm waiting to use that one again but in the meantime i think this is an amazing foundation it makes my skin look amazing throughout the day it lasts all day and i cannot say enough good things about this and it's affordable so what more can you ask for
this morning I made my face even smoother with this dermaplaning tool I found off of Amazon and I highly recommend to start shaving your face I don't even know if it's like technically shaving but it makes my foundation go on so smooth I trimmed up my little sideburns I got rid of my peach fuzz and it's like my skin is literally glowing right now because there's like no hair over here and I love it. I will link it down below. I just got it off of Amazon and it's like under 30 bucks. For concealer, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the color Golden Beige. I'm the type of person that will use up a concealer until it's absolutely all gone. I used to use Tarte Shape Tape and probably only had to like rebuy it once just because I really like digged in and I feel like this gives you so much product in this one little concealer bottle especially compared to Shape Tape and I've been really liking this one better so I just put it right here, right here, and all over my eyelid. Oh and then down my nose too. Forgot about that one. And sometimes on my chin. I couldn't even tell you why I do just like the line here and here. I saw it on TikTok. So ever since then, that's how I've been doing it. For contour and blush, I've been using this Dibs Beauty Duo stick, and it's very new in my makeup routine, probably the newest thing I have. This shade is 5.5, and they recently launched this stick. I use the contour on this one, and then I use another stick for the blush. So I'm just going to apply it right under my cheekbones. A little bit on the forehead, then a little bit on my nose and under and lastly under my chin. Dibs is direct to consumer so you won't be able to find it on Sephora.com so I wanted to give you a couple of other recommendations on contours that you can purchase during the Sephora sale. One being the Patrick Ta contour little duo. This one has a creamed contour up top and I really like the shade. It gives a very like deep perfect contour and then they have the bronzer on the bottom and then this color is she's chiseled sometimes i'll go over this dibs beauty contour with the powdered one in here after i've set my face and i'll probably do that today because i really want more of like a dramatic look today because i'm going to be doing a little bit of a content day today another great contour option is the charlotte tilbury contour wand it's not overhyped i don't know if they have it back in stock for the sephora sale but if you see it definitely grab it because it's so good i have been loving using just cream products in general but cream blushes are my new favorite thing and i'm going to be using shade 5 for the blush from dibs beauty and i'm just going to put a little bit up here usually i actually do more but we'll keep it simple today and then my secret is to put a little bit on your nose not too much because you're going to look like a clown you do too much on days i want to do like a really quick makeup routine i also love to put this blush on my eyelids just to give it like a little bit of a pinky tone and then we're gonna blend all of it out Here's what it looks like all blended out and usually I actually over blush even more but today we're going to keep it a little bit more simple and the next step is to set the face. Before I show you guys what I'm going to be using today to set my face I wanted to give you my number one recommendation and that is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Powder. It is the best powder I've ever tried. It makes your skin look like porcelain doll skin. It is insane but I do recommend to kind of like bake with a different powder since that powder is more pressed powder it's perfect for after you do your whole makeup routine and just like kind of like buff it in on top of your skin but i found if i just use that powder i will get oily throughout the day so i think it's very important to set your face and bake your face before you you know use a pressed powder so today we're going to be using the one size powder and honestly i got this at one of the sephora sales and i just don't really see the hype about it but i'm going to use it until it's gone but i just feel very strongly towards the charlotte tilbury powder but i still do need a baking powder and the laura mercier translucent powder is always a good option i was just kind of seeing what else was out there when i got this and someone recommended it to me at sephora so i kind of just went for it again it's not bad but i definitely have 
tried better powders. Now we're just gonna wipe it all off with actually a Sephora brush, which I highly recommend to get. This is like the perfect brush to really do anything with, but I really just use it for like any kind of powder or just like buffing in the Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder. I think this is just like the softest, fluffiest brush. This is the Pro Powder 59 and I will have everything linked down below. I've had this little eyeshadow palette for a really long time and I'm in love with it because the eyeshadows are great and it's $10. It's actually from the Sephora collection and it is the Warm Brown Tones palette. So I'm just going to go in with this and I like to put the two shimmery colors, this gold and this like more brown rose gold on top of each other. So I'll do the deeper color first and put it all over my eyelid. Then I'm gonna take the gold that's in this palette and put it right on top. Then I usually take this matte brown color and blend it all in. Taking that same matte brown color, I'm just bringing it down on my lower lash line. So that is all I do for the eyeshadow, and then I take my favorite eyeliner ever. It is the Glossier Pro Tip Eyeliner in just black, because I don't think they have any other colors, which I would love if they came out with a dark brown liner in this form, because I love this tip. I don't know, something about it is just perfect. Moving on to mascara and I truly believe I'm going to be like 50 years old and I'll still be using these two mascaras. I've been using both of these since I want to say at least college but I feel like high school. So first off we're going to be doing the Roller Lash by Benefit. It just like separates your lashes so well, makes them so beautifully long and the other one kind of gives you a little bit more volume. I started using Grande Lash and was really consistent with it for a really long time. I kind of stopped recently, but I've seen such a big difference in my lashes. Like, I'm not even joking. And you can actually buy it on Amazon, so I'll link it down below. Um, but I also got a lash lift, so that's why my lashes are kind of like curled. And I highly recommend getting one, especially before you go on vacation. It's definitely a game changer. So this is before and after with the roller lash. Next, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. And again, this is a drugstore product, but I will have it linked down below. Lashes are done, so let's move on to brows. And I recently got this product. It is from Refi or Refi, and it is their clear brow gel. And I really like want to like this product so much because I feel like it has a really good spoolie. But the product itself kind of leaves your brows a little bit crunchy and can sometimes leave them looking a little bit white. So I like to kind of just take off the product off the spoolie a little bit because it does have a little bit of excess. And then we're going to just brush through our brows. But this product really does a great job of laminating your brows without paying for the lamination. And you can kind of get a feel for what it would look like if you did get a brow lamination. So it could kind of be like a little guinea pig. So I've still been using it because it does a really good job of, you know, keeping the brows up all day long. But it's just like that crunchiness I hate. So if you guys have a good clear brow gel, let me know. This is what my brows look like right after using that gel and you can't see any of the white stuff because I kind of just brushed it through but it does dry crusty I will say that. Next up we're going to use this brow pen from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I used to have the dark brown color but recently I went to get the medium brown because I just feel like sometimes I have a little bit of a heavy hand and they could look a little bit too dark and I never want to go back to the days of the dip brow pomade phase you know. I just don't want too dark of eyebrows and I really try to keep them as natural as possible so we're just going to go in and make little hair strokes anywhere that's necessary. So 
So this is what it looks like before and then this is what it looks like after. It definitely makes a huge difference even though I didn't do that many strokes. We're going to move back into the face and just give it a little bit of refresh with some powder products. So like I said, I do use the Patrick Ta Duo, but I just kind of like use the powder one and go over the Dibs Beauty Contour just to make it even more chiseled. And I can never forget a little extra nose contour. Since I didn't over blush today, I'm going to be going on top of the cream blush with a powdered brush. And this is the Kosas Longitude Zero Color and Light Pressed Little Duo. And I'm just going to just take this blush color and go right on top of that. I think the last thing we have to do to complete this makeup look are the lips. So we're going to go in with this lip liner. So we're going to be taking my Makeup by Mario lip liner in the color Travis. And it is this perfect brown lip liner. I swear I can never have enough brown lip liners, but I've really been liking this one. So we're just gonna line the lips. This is what the lip liner looks like alone. I think it's still really gorgeous if you didn't wanna add any gloss, but today I'm going to be using the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. And this one is the vanilla beige one, so it kinda of has a little bit of a color to it. I've been really liking this combo lately. Here's the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these products, especially during the Sephora sale, that is happening super, super soon. I think when I'm posting this video, the Sephora sale has already happened or will be starting in the next couple of days. And if you're looking for more Sephora recommendations, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be posting another video with just recommendations for the Sephora sale within the next couple of days. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you guys want to see real-time content, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!